Hi, I'm Abner at Showalter's Country Meats. Today I wanted to show you what you can get meat-wise from one of our 300-pound hogs. So what we're going to do is, this is one that someone ordered, and they did a pretty typical uh, thing on their order. So, you know, like half pork chops, half tenderloin, both ham sliced and cured, both shoulders sliced into pork steaks, bacons sliced and cured, jowl bacon sliced and cured, hocks cured, and then they got your spare ribs, and then the rest in sausage at hot with extra sage. So, of course, you can do this any way that you want, but in this case, it's what they did, and I wanted to show you what they got. That way you get an idea of what you would be getting from your hog. So what we'll do is we'll just, um, to give you an idea, what we would do is just uh, stack up things in kind of somewhat order. So this is the bacon that they got from their hog. So we got bacon here, pack of bacon, another pack of bacon. How many packs is this? Let's see. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is all of the cured bacon, but then we also have jowl bacon. This comes from this part of the hog right here, we make jowl bacon out of that. So this is from there. So let's see how many packs of that we get. We got one pack, two packs, three packs, four packs, five packs, six packs. So if you've never had, uh, if you never had jowl bacon before, it's very similar to other bacon. In fact, some old timers around here prefer it over the regular bacon, but it's very similar to the regular bacon. So that's your bacon and jowl bacon from our 300 pound hog. Here we got pork chops, pork chops, pork chops. They also, this person opted for tenderloin as well, so I'm going to start throwing those out here. So this is a, their tenderloin. Right, here's some more pork chops, pork chops, four per package. Eight. Okay, so there's normally about four per package. So that's pretty standard, so one, two, three, four pork chops per pack, and then there's more here. So the tenderloins are typically four per pack as well. And here's the tenderloins that uh, this hog produced. Tenderloins, tenderloins. We have to shove this together, we're not going to have room for all this. Pork tenderloin, 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 pork tenderloin. So let's see here, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So we have eleven packs, eleven packs of pork tenderloin, about four per pack. And then when you get your tenderloin like that, instead of pork chops, there's also the inner tenderloin, the small tenderloin, we leave it whole, and it just comes in a package by itself, it goes with your tenderloin there. So that was all the uh, pork tenderloin. We've got the pork tenderloin taken care of. Next we're going to do the uh, sliced shoulder actually. I'm going to move this sausage over here out of the way. And we're going to look at what you get out of your sliced shoulder. So we've got one pack, two packs. On these uh, pork shoulder slices, normally we have two per pack. You can see one, two there, and usually it's doubled over on the end there. So we've got three, four, six, seven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 packs. So we've got about 17 packs of sliced shoulder. Now that may vary a little bit from hog to hog or depending if you want us just to get the best, but in this case they got about 17 packs of sliced shoulder. All right, so that's got your sliced shoulder. Now we're gonna move on to the sliced and cured ham. So we've got a bunch of that here. It's sliced and cured, and it's a vacuum packed in the sugar cure itself. So that's what you see there. So one, two. On cured ham, there's usually one slice per pack. So three, four, five. Have 12. These are your, these are your spare ribs. We'll get, we'll get those later. Uh, let's, more spare ribs. Let's go ahead and finish your cured ham. 13, 14, 15. 
16, whoa, it's spilling over. Let's do this. 16, 17, 28, 29, 30, 31, whoa, 32, 33, 34, 35, so it looks like about 35 there. It looks like that's about all it on the, um, the cured ham. It looks like it actually stuck some more sliced shoulder. So that makes another sliced shoulder. We had one down below the hams there, all right? Then uh, what we still have left to count is your spare, spare ribs. Now, when you get tenderloin, you actually get along with that, you get the baby backs. Now, if you put it into pork chops, um, that, that bone, this baby back rib bone will be included in your pork chop. But in this case, he just got half pork chops and half tenderloin. So that leaves him with one thing of baby back ribs. So there's your baby back ribs. And then we have spare ribs. We usually slice them about four by six pieces, something like that. So there's a pack, um, another pack of spare ribs, another pack of spare ribs, good eating here. Spare ribs, more spare ribs. That looks like that, that's got, about got your spare ribs. And then after spare ribs, um, we got this, this guy opted for cured hocks. Hocks are basically the lower part of the leg, above the foot, but this part of the leg right here on the front and on the ham, this is the hock area. And you can get this put into sausage or you can get it just fresh sliced or you can get it cured as this guy did. So he got his cured. So this, this is your cured hocks right there, cured hocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six packs of cured hocks. What we have left here is the sausage. So this sausage has been out, it's been frozen, now it's thawing out, so you see that little condensation there. But this is what your sausage comes in, things like this. It actually weighs about 1.3 or 1.4 pounds each but it's considered a one pound pack. But if you put it on the scales, it'll weigh about 1.3 pounds. So this is our one pound sausage pack. So let's just see how many um, packs of sausage just turned out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we have about 27 packs of sausage. And so I think that's somewhere around 32 pounds, something like that. So um, that should give you a pretty good idea of what you get out of a whole hog, our 300 pound hog for $350. Um, of course, it depends. Like for instance, you could get the whole hog done into sausage, but then you wouldn't have any of this other stuff. If you wanna get a lot more sausage, a good thing to do is you can see there's a lot of sliced and cured ham here. So if you're not a big ham eater, what you can do is go ahead and you maybe sacrifice one of your hams, put your, one of those hams into sausage, and then you would end up with just half as much, you'd end up with just half as much in uh, sliced and cured, and then you'd have a lot more sausage. Another thing people do is it's quite a bit of sliced shoulder here, and so if you want to end up with more sausage, you can give up one of your shoulders. Uh, another common thing to do with the um, pork shoulders, let me grab this thing here. Another common thing to do with pork shoulders is to put it into roast because it makes some really good juicy pork roast. So let's summarize. So in summary, uh, what we have here is this is the bacon. The bacon that you get from our uh, 300 pound hog, it comes from the pork belly here. And then we have the sliced and cured jowl bacon. It comes from right here on the hog. And then uh, here we have our pork chops. This comes from this part of the hog. If you're doing a whole hog, you can do like half pork chops, half tenderloin. But because it comes from the same place, you can usually just get one or the other. So that's the pork chops. And then moving over, we have the pork tenderloin. And that comes from the same area as the pork chops, except it has the bone out. And so that bone then becomes your baby back ribs. And then we also, there's a small inner pork tenderloin that comes with that uh, from the tenderloin that we leave whole there. All right, then moving on, this is your sliced shoulder. It comes from this area and you can just get it sliced. In this case, that's what they did. You can get it sliced or you can get roast. And then this is your sliced and cured ham. It comes from this area here. And that's what you're seeing right here, the sliced and cured ham. And over here, we've got your um, spare ribs and the baby backs. These baby backs come from a long, um, 
this area along the tenderloin and then the spare ribs themselves come from this area of the hog. And then uh, what we have here is the cured hocks, cured hocks. And so that comes from the, like the lower, lower part of the leg on the front and on the back. Then moving over here is your sausage. It comes from all the, all the parts that didn't slice up nice enough to be sliced ham or sliced shoulder or anything like that. We just grind the rest of that up and that becomes your sausage. All right, so hopefully that's been really helpful to get a grasp of what you can actually get out of one of our 300 pound hogs. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call here at 606-787-7070 or head over to our website at showwalterscountrymeats.com. Take care.